you guys. We're in Costco. I haven't showed you Michael's new haircut lately. He snuck into the bathroom and did it himself. I'm always like, why do people with super nice hair like not even care about it at all? I love his hair. It's like the perfect color. I want it. And it's like all nice and straight and silky soft. And he just shaves it off like it's nothing. It you grows back. Oh, God. I really do need a hose because now I'm up to like 15 times of having to refill my little watering can. Oh. Look at these towels, you guys. Look at this. How beautiful are those? That is my Moroccan print. Like the Iron Gate kind of Moroccan print. Ooh, yum. $8.59. What is it? Where's the gray one? Okay, they got gray down there. Look, what is this? kitchen towels. Little eggs and chickens. Oh my goodness. Look at that little body. And these didn't come in gray. But they did come in this cream color. I'm just showing you in case anyone else is interested in these. What they have happening at Costco. I should do like a, you know, like a bi-weekly what Costco has in stock kind of thing. Or, you know, as they change. This is a memory foam rug. I really like that color. Here's one of my favorite chickens of Maui. It's kind of leopard print. Look at it. Good looking. I'd love to take that one home with me. Okay, we just got home. Michael's calling it Big Red. <laughs> <laughs> it's not going to be Big Red for, for long. I've got some colors I'm thinking about here. I didn't, I didn't get to go look at paint yet, but I did already pick up these uh, paint chips. So. so I'm working this afternoon on some pieces. Look at this one. I love Stardust. Oh my goodness, this is a rose gold one. Anyway, so um, I, I haven't logged into Etsy for quite a while because we've been, well, we've been swamped with work and I actually haven't posted on there for a really long time. Uh, well, number one, because we were traveling. And then when I got back, we were just so behind with our work here that I just never got around to getting back on there. And then I just realized that I have so many messages from you guys. I just logged on just now and I was like, oh my goodness. So uh, I'm so sorry if I did not see your message and you tried to message me on there. Um, so just know that I'm just now logging on and um, I will try to put some pieces on because we have some new ideas for some new designs. So anyway, I'm just updating you on that and I am going to get back to work here. I want to take you guys back out because I want to go get that paint for that beast. Yes, big red. I think I decided on the color that I'm going to do. So uh, we'll take you out after I finish working and we'll see what we can find. Go where the tradies go! <laughs> <laughs> what store was that? I can't remember uh, the name. I guess somewhere in Australia. Ah, oh, shoot, I can't remember the name. Bunnings, where? Bunnings. House. I'm going to the tool Alright. Okay, have fun. I'm looking at paint. So, so far I'm thinking this one, but I just want to compare and see if there's any others that I might like better. We're at the St. Anthony's thrift shop. It's actually two-sided, so there's that side there and then over there. So I'm going to try in here first. So we just left the thrift store and I got a cute little 25 cent item, which I will show you when I get home. I got to polish it up a bit. Actually, I'll show you now. There you go. It's like a little vase. It's a little bit tarnished, but it's going to be a beautiful silver once I get done polishing it. 25 cents. Look at that. Nice and heavy too. Hey guys, we just got home and I thought I'd do a little garden update because I haven't showed you guys for a while. I wish it was sunny and clear today, but it's not. We've been having a lot of storms lately, uh, but I'll show you anyways because it's not too windy right now. So there's my flowers along the fence. So I had originally made this entire part that curves around here. Um, I wanted it to be like all my flower bed. But then at the very end, uh, I ended up having some extra space, so I had extra tomato plants that needed a home. So I'm going to see if they'll grow up there. Otherwise, all the flowers down here are doing quite well. So I've got lots of zinnias, I've got marigolds. Oh, look at this is pretty. It's like a, oh, like a buttercream yellow. Oh, nice. There's a good little mix here going on. The butterflies have been loving it. I've got Cosmos. I would make a gorgeous nail polish color. In fact, is that the color of my nails right now? Kind of, huh? Zillia so Sweet. My roses are doing okay. This one got really chewed up, unfortunately. Like, as soon as it put out its leaves, it was looking all lush and pretty, and then something came along and started eating it, like, really bad. So, 
I don't know, I put some beer on it, which is like, um, kind of like a rose fertilizer and protectant against insects, so we'll see if that works. The vegetable bed is doing really well. I've got these massive tomato bushes or tomato vines coming in here. And I've got huge basil. Oh my goodness, look at that. Yeah, all basil here. We're already eating that. I've got some little tomatoes that I just planted there not too long ago. Sunflowers, let's see, we've got these guys blooming. Look how pretty. Look at this one. How cute. Good morning guys! Today I'm going to be taking you out to the beach because I made a promise that the next sunny day off I had I was going to take you out and do a beach vlog. So that's what we're going to do today. Outfit of the day, I have on my jean shorts, uh, one of my favorite shirts that I got in Thailand. It says, salt in the air, sand in my hair. That is today. So we're taking you guys to the west side. We're going to go to Kanapali today. So if you park at the Sheraton, they have the beach access parking and then right up here. So we're at the far north end of Kanapali and just down this way a little ways is Whaler's Village. So if you park at Whaler's Village, you have to pay for parking there or you can purchase something in a store and get validated that way. But I would like to go to Sephora, but I don't want to be forced into having to purchase something there oh. to get the free parking. They're setting up for the cruise ship people to come in. So they got the little umbrellas out. What do they charge for the umbrellas? $25. $25 to rent an and I umbrella. Heard the guys setting them up. Do they get chairs too? I don't know if they do. <laughs> we gotta throw in the chairs. You would think. I got my flamingo beach towel. What'd you get that? I got this at Sears for what, nine bucks, right. ten bucks or something? People back there playing volleyball. So this is the first time we've been to Kanapali since we've been back from traveling. So I get lots of messages asking different questions about Hawaii, so I figured I'd ask you some and see what you thought. What are utilities like here? Uh, I think it's the highest in the nation actually on Maui. 40 cents a kilowatt, I think. So like our bill for our tiny place, our electric bill is what, right around? I think around 100, but, and we hardly uh -huh. use any. We, we barely use anything. Yeah, we turn <laughs> yeah. the water heater off when we don't use it. We don't use a heater, no we don't use an AC. How about groceries? Uh, if you don't have a Costco account, you're gonna have a hard time, because it's, it's, it's like 30 to 50% more on groceries here, and the same thing you can Mainland. Milk, for example, like a gallon of milk at Costco costs you what? Uh, about $5.50. $5.50. Okay. $5 How about a loaf of bread? Or actually, I guess they sell them in <laughs> yeah, like double. Two pack for $7, I think. Okay. So that's not too extreme, you know. So housing, pretty expensive. Basically, places kind of start at 300000 here. Yeah, and, and that's almost a tear down at that price. Even, yeah. You know? Especially since uh, the population has grown and housing hasn't grown along with it, it's really driven up house prices here, cost yeah. of living. I mean, rent, prices rent prices are high. Not unusual to be paying 1500 and up for a cottage. It does present a lot of challenges. Also, it's hard for a lot of people to make it work here because you're on an island and it's a totally different thing than you know, being on the mainland or somewhere where you can just jump in your car and go for a drive, go visit family, go right. on a little weekend, you know, trip somewhere else. It's like you are, you are landlocked here. And it's a different kind of feeling to get used to. Come here and check it out, but not in the mind of a vacation mode. Yes. I think that that is really where a lot of uh, people come here and it's perfect because they're, you know, they're in their plush hotel, everything's, you know, they got their rental car. It's a different type of relationship with the place if you're only vacationing there versus living there. You get to see a different side of Maui when you live here. That's a good way to put it, is all the struggles, like the daily life struggles and work and everything that you go through elsewhere is the same here. It's like same. we all have the same issues and life problems and things everywhere. But but you don't have to scrape ice off the You window. don't have to scrape ice here. <laughs> and that was something that was a priority for us, which is why we ended up here. Yeah. But. And 
this one, you know, sometimes they come running and that's hilarious, but this one saw and they couldn't get there quick enough, so it flew across the parking lot. I about fell down laughing because it's just so anxious to get to the food, you know. Oh, they panic. The thing is, too, about Maui yeah. is uh, different parts of the island have different personalities. Definitely. So if you're living on this side of the island versus living in Bahia, yep. yeah, totally different experience. So we were just talking about how this beach fills up so quick. What time would you suggest getting out to the beach? At uh, least kind of poly. Yeah, before 11 if you can, claim a space at least. Oh, definitely. Yeah, I was going to say like 9 o'clock, like straight away, come straight out. Get your piece of sandy real estate, plant yourself down with your flamingo towel. Otherwise you get like people, <laughs> like the hotels sticking their umbrellas out, claiming their spaces for their customers. And you get the cruise ship people claiming their area. It is one of the more expensive islands because on Oahu you have more, well, there's more uh, yeah, competition. There's more yeah, there's more housing, there's more stores, there's more places to stay, there's more work. Oh, schooling, schooling. out here, you know, public schooling is not very good out here. You know, we have several friends that are parents that have talked about that. So that's something that if you have kids, then you would need to figure that out, out or if you're planning on having kids. I think Maui's really good for people that enjoy a low-key lifestyle, which I really do. Uh, I'm not exactly a city person, although I do love having Oahu nearby. You know, it's a 25-minute plane flight away and I can be over there and having fun, but it's nice to come home to here. Maui will test your resourcefulness. Because your your options for anything, you know, if you want two by fours, or if I want a piece of furniture, piece of furniture from a thrift store, <laughs> or you want knobs for your piece of furniture that you bought at the thrift store, there's only so many places you can shop here. It is very limited. And the other thing is, uh, even Walmart has been like empty shelves. Walmart, <laughs> Walmart shelves are 50% empty 100% of the time. <laughs> is there a Costco? beach bag, Costco bag serving as a beach bag. <laughs> I like it, it's insulated. Yeah, it keeps your drinks cold. Not that we have any. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think another way that Maui might test people is, you know, you're used to seasons. Yes, there are yes. Here. Oh, a lot of people. Well, you know, I get asked that about the seasons out here. It does change during winter. It does get cooler and you do get a lot of storms. It's like it's been really rainy this winter and this is the first like nice clear sunny day that we've had in a while. Okay something else that people have asked about is the crime here. What is that like? Uh, you know there's burglaries and uh, break-ins and thefts and especially like people with tourist cars they put their luggage in the back of their tourist vehicle and then just close the and go to the beach. Oh, yeah. Plain view, you know. Of... Oh yeah, don't, don't ever do that. Don't leave stuff in your cars because there's lots of car break-ins. Yeah. I had my car broken into like twice when I first moved here. They didn't get anything though. Yeah, and just recently, unfortunately, there's been some uh, domestic violences that have ended in women missing. One of them was pregnant. Carly Scott, I think her name was. Uh -huh. If you're curious about those kind of uh, situations, you can always Google that on the internet. But yeah, there's some not not good things that go on, just like anywhere else. There was a shark attack recently too, wasn't there? Uh, it, was, it turned out to be an eel bite, I think. <laughs> <laughs> you know the grapevine, oh, the coconut goodness. wireless. Oh jeez. But we do have shark attacks once in a while, yeah. which sometimes people are quite shocked about that. But that always confuses me because I'm like, well, that is the ocean, people. There are sharks in it. It is their home. There's all kinds of crazy stuff that lives out there, and when yeah. you go out in it, you are you are not in your realm. You are in their realm. In fact, it was just past that catamaran, I was swimming, and I got stung by uh, either a man oh, or a yeah. jellyfish. Yeah, right. That was, what, like two years ago? Two years ago. Yeah, yeah. It, it gave him a big hug. It wrapped its little tentacles all around his body, squeezed the him. The most pain I've ever felt. Oh man. I can feel my heart racing. <laughs> yeah, and some yeah. people are more allergic to those yeah. kind of things than others, so it affects you differently. You know, you gotta deal with cockroaches. Oh, cockroaches and, and, and centipedes, centipedes and, oh, I've never been bitten by a centipede, but I've heard that they're bad news. Yeah, I've heard them compared to a gunshot wound. Oh, really? 
And then some people are like, well, it's like a really bad bee stinger or something. I yeah. don't know. So it, it, <laughs> I once know. again, it depends on the person. That's when I got stuck wear. by the jellyfish. People are like, oh yeah, I just brush them off. I'm like, what are you talking about, man? Things are incapacitated. There's Michael's great yellow Costco shorts. I gotta get him some new shorts too sometime. One thing I could say in the decision, you know, trying to determine if Hawaii is a place for you is, you know, if you are into tropical places, this is a good place to start. When I was growing up, I had tons of posters of tropical islands and palm trees and beaches. Like my whole room was covered in that kind of stuff. And so I always knew that I'd end up somewhere warm and tropical. And so that's one reason why I knew that this would be a place that was gonna work for me. And I was gonna push to get here and push to make it work. Even though you gotta go through challenges and even though it's expensive, um, if there's something that you really want in life, you just gotta go for it. Almost looks like a little Waikiki down there. Don't forget to put on your sunblock here too before you go out. I, we always see people that are so like lobster-fied. We don't want you to be in pain on vacation. Yeah, that, that would be uncomfortable. I'm going to Sephora, but probably not going to buy anything, but I still like to look and just see if anything tempts me. So I swatched a bunch of stuff in Sephora. They have Marc Jacobs in there now. I didn't know that uh, they actually had it in, in my store now. So that was fun, uh, but you know what? As, as much or as many beautiful colors as there are in there, I'm like, you know what? There's nothing, there's nothing here that I need. Yes, a lot of stuff is really pretty, but I'm so happy that I'm finally at the point where I'm just like, nah, yeah, it's pretty, but I don't feel like I need it or crave it or anything. We're at the outlet stores in line. This is actually the first time that I've been here because these are new since we've been back. So there's like Lucky Brand Outlet, Michael Kors. I do want to go in here. That might be fun. But it's still pretty quiet. They all moved in here, and before it was a total ghost town, but you know what? This is high season, wow. and look around. This is still <laughs> not, this is not good <laughs> for I the stores. It, yeah, maximum two years huh. before places start realizing It's a pretty, that. yeah, it's a pretty big area too. I mean, there's a lot of stores in here, but Jeez. there's just not much energy. No energy. Here's one really cute store, the Perfume, Perfume Mania. So if you come here, you gotta check that place out. It's got good deals in there. Hey guys, we're home and having lunch. On today's menu is tacos. Yes, my favorite. So we have our soy chicken, avocado, pico de gallo, jalapenos, and tortilla chips.